Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw dinosaur scales. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit different. It's not a how-to per se, like, like the follow along. This is more of a how-to. And these videos are a little different for the channel. So what I want you to do is I want you to write in the comments afterward if you liked it, if you want more of these kind of like, you know, teaching uh, kind of more, you know, stuff like this, uh, let me know. And uh, anyways, let's just jump right into the lesson. Alrighty, let's go into the scales, right? So if you're drawing, let's say, um, let's say around the eye or something, right? Around the dinosaur eye. Let's just give us, a, let's just say this is a dinosaur eye. whoop de doo um, Something that I always put in here is I always put in the kind of lines underneath, like the bags under the eyes because they're lizards and they, they will probably have bags under the eyes, just kind of squinting. So they, they pretty much usually have that. Not 100% of the time, but all, but many, many, many times. I would say almost, actually maybe I'm wrong, maybe 100% of the time during yeah, drawing, they will have bags under those eyes. So just kind of remember that. As far as for scales, Anything around small areas, like the areas that move like that, um, they'll be smaller scale, like smaller, smaller scales, like this, like little bubbles, like like bubbles that you pop or something like that. On the, they come in the mail, right? The uh, packaging foam, packaging bubbles. They'll be smaller in that area. They won't have giant scales. It, it usually like if you get like let's just say this is his cheek over here they get bigger for these larger areas of mass right then they start to get bigger and uh, they rub into each other almost like play-doh i want you to imagine like play-doh blocks and you're stacking them up and they kind of fit into each other and that's kind of the way i i think of it as Right? These kind of blocks that are fitting together and they're just squishing, uh, kind of touching each other. And so they get bigger again. Just kind of remember that factoid. If you like this kind of stuff, hit the like button. Uh, likes, pretty much the channel lives on likes. So please, please, please support the channel by hitting the like button. Also hit the like button on any other video that you may enjoy. Uh, really, really helps out the channel. It's the only reason we survive. I post three times a day and uh, yeah, help you support. So um, another way to shorthand it, let's say you want to shorthand um, uh, scales. A shorthand method that you can use for certain drawings and not always is you can do the this. Wrap a curved line around something long ways like that just kind of like checkerboard method that can work and you guys have seen me do it for shorthand um, absolutely can work you know if you do have the time though I would do something more like this you know like this scales over here and another thing about the scales is draw them thinner the lines like see that these lines right here are thinner than the outside line right it's always like that because this is a detail, right? That's a texture on the skin. This is not, right? This is like the form and kind of the actual figure. Um, but it's, it's, it's incredibly, incredibly important that you do that because if you put this stuff really thick, that's where you get like these uh, drawings where you can't even tell what's going on. And you want to be able to tell what's going on uh, so that the viewer knows what's going on, right? So it's incredibly important that you you do that that you make these lines thinner than that one if you're doing line art um, another thing you can do as well if you're doing shorthand let's say it's just like a shorthand is you can just kind of like do this stuff see this bubbly stuff right here these little u shapes just do them sparingly right and that'll read uh, that'll be an indication of scales, just like a little bit like that. So indication meaning I don't have to put it everywhere like this. I'm putting it all over the pattern. I'm putting it a little bit, just kind of the underside of it. 
and you're putting it, you know, in spots. And what happens is the person, when when you know when you have the actual entire drawing of the dinosaur, the person, uh, their mind will fill that in. Like, oh, okay, that's supposed to be, you know, all scales. The person will fill that in. So just kind of remember that. Um, again, that's a shorthand method. Um, but it definitely works and it's definitely fun, you know, I would definitely, uh, you know, try that out. Um, that's actually the way most people do it and that's the way I do it the most on the channel. Uh, usually I will do that shorthand. I think that shorthand's a lot. It's very, very good. Um, that's pretty much it. That's the ways uh, to draw dinosaur scales. I hope, uh, you know, you enjoyed that. If you liked this lesson, please let me know. Uh, also, uh, like I said, if you ever want to donate, donate uh, to the channel on the PayPal. Uh, basically, 100% uh, of the donations go toward art supplies for the channel. I go through these things really, really fast. Uh, paper, editing software, uh, or editing equipment. Um, all goes back in the channel, like graphics I want to buy to kind of put on the channel. So uh, those cost money. But thank you so much. Uh, that's pretty much it. Say hi to me in the comment section if you can see me right now. Uh, also, the other thing I want to say is... Have a great day, and I want you to, you know, really achieve your dreams in art. All right? See you soon. Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime, I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site, see everybody else's lessons. And normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month. Um, because you're watching this video right now, if you're still watching right now, you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days that's a lot um, but just you what you have to do is go over here to the video go down first link in the description the very very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days um, you just go over here you click this thing boom and then you sign up um, and it's super easy and the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent. And you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys wanna do it, absolutely go hit that up. Um, and that's it. So talk to you later. And uh, hopefully I'll see, I'll catch you over there later. Thank you so much, you are amazing. Uh, over here on the right, you're gonna see my most recent upload. And on the top corner over here, you're gonna see just another selection, another cool selection that has to do kind of with the subject of this video. Uh, and over here at the top, you can hit the subscribe to see a lot more. Uh, this is awesome and I'll see you next time.